everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Carla Tanager, and I'm playing some Mass Effect. Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Excuse you! Is there something I can do for you? <laughs> consort? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with things. Uh -huh. You never went to see her, did you? I, uh... No, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Wow. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Oh, thanks. Hi. So let's go see this personage after... Oh, hi there. Um, is there any experience I can steal from here? No? Okay, I'm gone. If there's no experience, there's no point in me being here. That's this way. That's another office over there. But uh, we need to go talk to the Asari Consort. For no other reason than to just talk Welcome to the Asari to the Consort. Allow me to be your guide. No. <laughs> the Citadel is so pretty. Also, it's like the the um the I haven't I haven't played Halo. I haven't actually played Halo, so I have to preface that with that this with that. But I do know about like the ring thing in it, and it can this kind of reminds me of that. Mostly because you have that fake sky up there too. Okay, that's what was bugging me. My bracelet fell off. Give me a second, guys. Okay. Hello, husband. Yes, let's kill everyone! Wait. <laughs> Shepard has gone crazy! Shepard has gone rogue. I've told you before, you're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right to move. That hand refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Uh, what's the problem? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. There's an evangelical permit? So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. Why don't you just arrest the Hanar? I could arrest the Jelly, but my superior has the requested jelly. that I find a solution that does not anger the Hanar. The Hanar become vocal when they feel their religious beliefs are being suppressed. What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. It's got a point there. Um, let me talk to it. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn... Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC Officer enlisted assistance? The Honorable CSEC Officer. Um, this isn't the way. Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language, and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Um... Can I buy your permit? This is unworthy of you. Is this how the Enkindlers would want you to use this gift of consciousness? The Enkindlers would wish for their message to be spread to all sentient races. You insult their memory. If the Protheans had wanted you to force your message on the unwilling, they'd have said so. This one hears wisdom. Perhaps enthusiasm has clouded judgment in this matter. Two sentences and I can already... This one departs now, mind. and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. What am I, a Jedi? I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. My pleasure. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my Here, superiors. have some money. Yay! I leveled again. More leveling. More singularity. 
more first aid. Which I probably should have gotten first aid before anything else, but okay. To the financial district. So we're just walking around the Presidium fixing everybody's problems, because that's who I play, apparently. <laughs> now we have another argument I'm here, I think. You, this is not what Jake would want. Yep. I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I'll I know me. you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby, too. Is there a problem? Can I help with anything? Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. <sighs> My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. Why? I Why would you want therapy? therapy was common. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. <sighs> chance of disease. What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. And if my baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available. Which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. Shut, stop yelling at her, she's pregnant! What are the chances that gene therapy could hurt the baby? One in 300 at most. But extranet articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. Don't you understand? If my baby is that one in 300, I will always wonder if I... If, if I killed my baby for nothing. And also, if your child was one of the... Was one in 50, they could die... Anyway, this makes me think of anti-vaccine people. Um, never mind. Um, it always... Okay, the fact that they're letting a stranger decide this is kind of lulzy, but... Kill my baby for nothing. This is a very hard decision. But her choose. It is her choice. It's her child. But at the same time, it's like, oh, maybe I shouldn't get this vaccine for my child for all of these illnesses because, oh, they're not going to get it. And then they do and die. Uh... As much as I hate it, in some cases, it's her choice. And it's not like she's going, she's only going to be hurting and or possibly killing her child doing it. Fuck. It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. I know you want the best for your brother's child, but this is not your decision. Of course it is. No, it's not. I'm the closest thing to a father this baby is going to have. It's not your baby. Is this about keeping the baby safe, or is this about you losing your last link to your brother? This baby is the only thing my brother... It's all I have left of him. I need to know that the baby's safe. It's all I have left too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to be safe. I want to give him that much. We will. I promise. Aww. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate Thank it. you for talking with us, stranger we've never met and we'll never see again. <laughs> okay. I think it's over here. Helena Blake. Hello. Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. Um, good for you! I've got plenty to do already. Of course you do, but this would be easy work for you, and I pay extremely well. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote on worlds, it. and I it. have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. What kind of defenses would these two have? I haven't the faintest idea, but they're certain to be armed. 
Their partnership soured, and each believes that the other intends to kill him. They will be well prepared. This is an obvious setup. I eliminate them, and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your estimation of my bravado, I have no intention of attempting to murder you. You are the first human Spectre, and you are doing important work for humanity. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. Okay, your interest. And what do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures. Certain but their cooperative business practices ventures? have forced me to terminate our relationship. Such Once as? Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. What crimes did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. They're loathsome, Batarians? hurting Batarians? innocent people. They must be ended. I'll do it. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third when set of coordinates. When these men are dead? Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. I got... I was gonna say, I got Renegade points for that. <laughs> Hello. I'm Poriam Shotkeeper. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent Emporium. Cool. Who are you? Personal question. Who are you? This one's face name is Della Ninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Della. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Sure, why not? Show me your items. Do you have anything I can give Tolly? <laughs> oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Non-human armors. Oh, thank God we got something for a Corian. Um, it costs a lot of money. Buying it anyway. Tolly needs. Tolly needs. Tolly needs. Okay, I already got the other two. Tolly. 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 Have a thing. Yay! Tolly has a thing. Oops, I sold all the armor upgrades! I didn't mean to! Oh well, I'll get more later. Commander! Show me your items. Upgrades. Oh, this one. My spanner. Blah, 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 blah. Nothing interesting. Commander! Show me your items. These standard items. Anything else? Da, 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 da. I will take this. Come on, and this. That makes it so you can access the stores, well, or at least their wares from the Normandy, I think. Keeper. That's a problem for future me. <laughs> okay, we still gotta go find the consort. Who I believe is. Over here. That was a very long roundabout way to find the consort. Oh, more keepers. Hmm. Skin. That's just the easiest way to get credits. You just drive by scanning. Oh, I so pretty. That's more nice. keepers. I've had my office rearranged five times now. Five times. Can I get XP from this? No. Then I do not care ab about what they are speaking of. Hello! Welcome. I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like She's me to so see when the consort will be able to meet with you? I need Can I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave services. your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What do you do here, Nalina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. Ah. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly How? do you attend to? 
Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as Some possible, effects. we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body. Massage! And believe it. Uh, cool. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Pleasure? Most of pleasure. the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. So she you make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. Appointment. Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm oh, wait, afraid. I've already done this. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make All every right. effort to meet with you. Commander Shepard, I'm with the Spectres. Excellent. You should hear something in... Um, three or four months. Serious? Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? Nope. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Kay. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish okay, to for a second I was like, wait a minute, I thought something was supposed to happen. I thought I was just gonna- Yes, of course, me. mistress. Well, hello, beautiful. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Uh, sure. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Okay. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. This is my first time. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. Hey. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. Cool. Have fun. Am I doing a booty call? I can't remember. I might be doing a booty call. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. Who are you? What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could so use your expertise. Tell me about it. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. Spreading if you lies? Could speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What went what wrong? What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. Okay. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense to knock of it honor. Off? Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Really? How grateful is grateful? Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Okay, fine. So we gotta go to Cora's den. It's... <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm laughing, it's just... My name is Commander Shepard, and I'm fixing everybody's problems. Uh, wards. We want to go to Corsa. Oh, we have to go to Fist anyway. Yep, we have to go back to Fist's office because I forgot to. Well, we were saving Tali. I forgot to pick up something for another quest. Oops. So now I have to go back to Fist's office and collect that, so we can do that now too. Just micromanaging a little tiny side quest and stuff. And more auto saving. It's so much better when they finally get to the point where the auto saving does it like you can move during it. I can't remember if it's, if that's in Mass Effect two or three. I want to say it's two, but we'll see when we get there. Huh. 
Hi, Jenna. Sorry, I'll get to you when I can. Oh, poor honey. Harkin. Septimus! Commander. <laughs> what do you want? Shaira's I'm honey. here on Shaira's behalf. Your lies are hurting her. Good! Her lies have been killing me for days. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is Shaira. What could a woman do to put you <laughs> oh, in this Garris. state? Oh, Garris. She rejected me. Me, Septimus Araka, general of the Turian fleet. Oh, it's that Araka. Is it worth it? Is she really worth it? There must be other women. It's not just any woman I want. It's, it's her, and her alone. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Knock it off! General, did you ever win a battle by moping in a bar? Ha, <laughs> war. That's what this feels like, all right. How does this feel like war? People aren't dying yet. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? Yep. It damn well couldn't hurt. <laughs> oh, Garrus. <laughs> Maybe you're right, Commander. You silly belly. Shaira's worth the effort. <laughs> even if she won't have me back. Aww. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Depends. What do you want me to do? <laughs> There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why would he think such a thing? Because I because he told her. I told him. Look, yep. <laughs> I just need you to convince him of the truth. How? What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. All right. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name everybody is Zeltan. Dirty... He's an Elcor diplomat. Stuff for them. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Exactly. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Yeah, about that. I don't think that's how Mass Effect 3 ends. <laughs> Leaving! Leaving! Weird noises! Leaving now! Weird noises! Okay, what did I miss in here? Optical, there we go. I need that. I can't go this way, so we have to go back out the other direction. Let me out! <laughs> the laughing's returned! I do not wish for the laughing. The laughing is just weird. There's just stripping Asari everywhere. That is just the weirdest pair of pants! It's not even pants! It's like assless chaps! For the thong! Just no, no, leaving now, leaving, gone, gone, gone. Does this lead to where I need to go? I can't remember. Because we got now we gotta turn in that quest that I got for the optical disc out of There's just a lot of stuff we gotta do, guys. So much stuff. I know I could just leave and go to Vermeyer, but no. <laughs> Let me out. Let me out. Great, now we got a loading screen. Well, half loading screen thing. Open! Open! There she is, that's what I was looking for. Emily Wong! Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? I got these! These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> you've got Fist's files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Uh... What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk yep. to me sure before you talk to anyone else? 
Sure, why not? That would be I don't know why I'm doing that, but I am. And I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, <gasps> I should go see what's on these discs. Give me money! <laughs> Give me money! To Flux. Have I been to Flux yet? Ah, Flux is a problem for future Shepherd. We've got to go find stuff. Why is it loading? Silly game. I need to go... Uh, there! Because <laughs> we need to find a thing with the stuff. Speak with Shaira. There we go, we need to go spot speak to the Elcor, then we'll go talk to Shaira. Shaira. We're going to the Presidium Embassies. It's just so much faster to do this than running around. Whew. A little sleepy. Even though it's only noon. High time, at least. Saving data. Do not turn off your system. Save, 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 save. There we go. Just to get them. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. I think the Elcor is over here. I think. Somebody just opened and closed the door. Oh wait, my roommate's not asleep. <laughs> my roommate <laughs> thought my roommate was not home. Apparently she is. Okay. I hey saw your fellow's report. If we had known anything about the Thorian, Exogeny would never have been given the permits to start a colony there. Thank God the colony survived. We can't afford to have Barely. too many failures out in the Traverse. It's one of our major expansion regions. Is that what you care about? You don't give a damn about the colonists. It's all just politics to you, isn't it? We can't all be the hero who charges in to save the day, Commander. Sure we but can. we each serve humanity in our own way. You can't escape interstellar politics. It's part of the big picture, and sometimes it isn't pretty. Just ignore him, Shepard. Anderson! The ambassador's a little bitter sometimes. Comes with the job. I love Anderson. He's awesome. Hi, Anderson. Yes, Commander? Are you okay? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. No. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Okay. I should go. Bye, I'll Anderson. be here if you need anything. You are the best, like, father figure ever. And Toki is still poisoned. She's been poisoned for multiple episodes. Okay, Zeltan. Hello there, human. <laughs> Sincere apology. But I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. That's why I'm I come here. to talk to you about your little problem. Curious. What do you know about the consort and her relationship to me? Shaira is not to blame. It was a Turian named Septimus who found out your secret. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. And the here's only my way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here, there should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Oh, you'll be fine. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. They talk so slow. Maybe I should go I grab my Elcor over the there. Consort. I she have a talking Elcor plushie. with my actions. Yeah, probably. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. Don't worry. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Aww. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Aww, don't Approving. mention it. 
You see, then not all humans are as you say. I'm okay. sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Oh, God. Okay, and that's going to be about it for this video. In the next one, we will go and finish the quest with Shaira and maybe do a little more off world stuff. Maybe we'll go to Novaria. My name is Garth, and I'll see you all in the next episode.